you guys know, Brent pranks me all the time, so it's only fair that I prank him back. Well guys, uh, 12 acoustic panels later, the Echo's still here. A lot of you guys are saying you can't even notice the Echo, and I'm sure that's probably true if you're listening to this on speakers, but at this point, it's just like a principal thing. I just want it gone completely. Have y'all ever seen that one room so quiet it like drives people insane? Yeah, that's gonna be my office soon. Not that being in my office doesn't drive me insane already, because in here, I have to watch videos like the one we're gonna be watching today. Now, during my time on this website, I've seen a lot of people do a lot of gross things in order to try and get views on their YouTube video. YouTube doesn't even care about clickbait anymore. Most thumbnails these days are nothing but oversaturated eyesores designed to hypnotize the brain of young children, forcing them to click on the video. Now, due to this being commonplace, it's rare that I find a title or a thumbnail that really surprises me anymore, but today, that's not the case. Now, if you've been on the internet for any period of time whatsoever, then I'm sure you unfortunately know about the Rivera family. Brent Rivera and his relatives have been terrorizing the internet ever since Vine, and I'm not really sure how they're still relevant. Relevant, I guess the obvious answer is children, because that's the only audience I can even kind of think of for the kind of content these guys make. Even children is kind of pushing it. Now, like I said, they've been popular ever since Vine, and I guess when you've been on the internet that long, even the most insane clickbait title well begins to run dry at some point. So one day you wake up and you find yourself titling a video, My Brother Was Murdered. Shortly after, you find yourself editing a thumbnail, or rather paying somebody to edit a thumbnail in this case, where you are fake crying over your your brother in a casket. Now look, call me a prude, call me a sensitive soul, but I feel like once you get to the point where you are trying to trick your audience into thinking that one of your family members died for YouTube views, it's time for a little bit of self-reflection. But Miss Rivera, do not fret because I'm about to reflect for you. You can thank me later. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Now this video is basically just a giant collection of bad staged pranks. The first one is like a cheating prank, very classic, definitely not overdone. The second one, they tell their mom they're getting a puppy or something, but instead they bring an alligator, which I guess might be funny if it wasn't so obviously staged. And then we get to why this video is titled the way it is. Basically, she decided to throw like a fake funeral for her brother, I guess in order to trick him into thinking people think he's dead, which might be a funny prank if this wasn't a prank channel. Now, I'm not just trying to be a YouTube screw, just saying that it's not funny just because it's a prank channel, but it doesn't work because it's a prank channel. That's always been my problem with these YouTube prank channels, is that after a certain amount of time of pranks, the person getting pranked is always gonna know it's a prank. Because that's their job now, is pranking and getting pranked for YouTube. And then even if you could get over the fact that they find out it's a prank pretty quickly, they realize it pretty soon, you then would have to come to terms with the fact that there was never a chance for them to realize it in the first place because they're all staged from the beginning. If you'd like to argue that with me, please explain to me why Brent would be showing up to a random church during a random funeral. Now while you're thinking about how to answer that, let's actually watch the video now. So I've been seeing this trend all over YouTube and it gave me an idea for my next prank. And I knew the perfect person to do this prank on. As you guys know, Brent pranks me all the time, so it's only fair that I prank him back. So I rented a church, bought a coffin, invited all of our friends and family, and we're gonna be pranking Brent to make him think that he's walking into his own funeral. Thank you all to come for coming to celebrate Brent Rivera. As you can tell, he was loved. I will now be opening up the podium to those who wish to say their last words. Much more than I am this video, I'm quite interested as to how they explained this idea to the church, and then subsequently how they got the church to agree to let them use it. I feel like any good church would not really be on board with this quote prank, which I think further strengthens my argument that it's all staged. I'm sure they just told the church no one's actually getting pranked. If not, the church director should probably be fired. And if anyone who wishes to say their final goodbyes up here by the casket. Thank you guys all for coming. Brett was the third best son any parent could ever ask for. I remember when he used to wet the bed. It seems like it was just yesterday. Because it was yesterday. Oh. Five, maybe six. I think seven's pushing it. These are the ages that I think a person would find this funny. I mean, ha 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 ha, get it? Cause like they're saying things they wouldn't say in front of him cause they think he's dead. Like, oh my God, he's the third best son. Ha ha ha, he pees the bed even though he's a grown up. Ha ha ha, this is painful. No one's in this casket. Who's in here? Brent was such a cute little boy. I love taking him to the park. I miss him so much. Guys, it's me. I'm right here. Unless I have like a Twitter channel. Um, we have a, uh, a quick video to show you guys uh, in loving memory of Brent. Um, so if everyone can please turn their attention to the screen over here. I'm right. What, what, are you playing a music video? 
was a kid. I'm really trying to do my best here to not take this video seriously. With that being said, however, any immersion that Brenton would have in this prank, like any chance at him thinking it was real, is completely taken away by the way these people are acting. Like, if you're gonna do this prank, do it right. Try and actually trick the person into thinking they're at their own funeral. These are not things a person would do at a funeral. You would not be talking about bedwetting. You would not be playing a music video over cringy photos. This is supposed to be a funeral for a dead family member. I know that the goal here is to make a funny video for children, not actually make a video that anyone's gonna take seriously as a real prank. But if you're gonna clickbait your own brother's death, you might as well try and make the prank believable, right? We can't Starbucks orders. Only in his own, but you're gonna... Lexi, I'm right here. Help? Thank you, guys. <laughs> that was lame. Who made that video? I... <laughs> Alright, I would like to say a few words. Whoever organized this, I don't know if I have a twin, but I am not dead. Um, what a person. This man, Brent and I, we've made so many amazing memories. If I'm able to see my own funeral and everybody there is just wearing like a casual black t-shirt, everybody's getting haunted. Full poltergeist, I'm flipping your bed upside down while you're sleeping. I'm gonna turn on every loud appliance you own at like three in the morning. Blenders are gonna go crazy. Your life is gonna be bad for a few months, okay? You better dress correctly or it's game over. Literally made an amazing memory like two hours ago. God, why couldn't it have been Lexi? <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, sugar plum. I'm just kidding. I, I wish though. <laughs> This has got to be tiring, right? I've talked about this before with channels like this, just never getting to be your true, genuine, authentic self. Always having to play this character, dumb everything down for your audience. It can't be that fulfilling, right? I mean, I'm sure the money that comes from a channel this size helps quite a bit, but still, surely you can't get that much enjoyment out of this. Danny, I mean, we, we, can, go on a, we can go on a date later if you want. I just don't understand this. I'm a little confused right now. Brent was such a delightful guy to be around. So generous. He wants that, you know, Lexi, if I ever die, like, you can have my Ferrari. Huh? And all my money. Huh? You know, when I first found this video and was going through this segment, I originally thought that this would not be long enough to make for a good video, but now I'm starting to wish that this part was a bit shorter. I mean, it's bad enough to make a video titled that your brother was murdered when you know your audience is young enough for a large portion of them to probably take it seriously. To then continue to make the video this bad, this should be a crime. In return, I think we should all say one last final. Three, two, one. Adios, amigos. What the hell is wrong with you guys? Now, uh, that concludes our service. Uh, thank you all for coming. And thank you, Brent, for being such a good sport. This has all been a prank. Are you serious? Are you, you, want me, you want me to take that seriously? You want this to be a big reveal for me? Want this to be the highlight of my day? Obviously, it's a prank, Mr. Pastor. The fact that anyone is even acting surprised is kind of making me mad. To make a video implying that your audience is so stupid that they would not be able to see through this as a staged prank? How do people like this create communities? So the rest of the video is her pretending to be a Barbie, I guess. I'm not really sure. I haven't watched the rest of the video. I've just skimmed it because, well, I value the relative peace of my current state of mind. Would not want to put that in jeopardy. Well, guys, there you have it. What might go down as the world's greatest prank ever pulled. Guys, I want you to make a promise to me right now. If I ever do it myself or allow somebody else to clickbait my death for views, I want you to unsubscribe, dislike the video, and then leave a nasty, vile comment about my mustache because, well, that's where I hurt the most. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.